That was a party foul, you prick. A, you're too cute. B, you're too clean. C, you're way too cute. If you were real, you would be the only end of world survivor I've ever met with a hairstylist. I'm real. Why don't you come over here and see? You're either a hallucination, someone more desperate than I am, or, well, I don't want to use the word in case you are somehow real. I wouldn't be surprised with any of those possibilities around here. But I still can't get past your general lack of post-apocalyptic griminess. <laughs> She's got a fucking... <laughs> These dreams are really getting shit fuck. Suck on it, brick wall. Dick face. <laughs> Wump womp. Don't worry, I won't hurt you. You're lucky he was a fob. They're not as aggressive in the early stages. You mean that wasn't aggressive? You laid unconscious for several seconds before I could get there. 
And he hadn't bitten you yet. So wait. Are you saying you'd have been too late if he'd been more aggressive? Nope. I always manage to be on time. I'm just on Alex time. You're Alex? Yeah. So why is my name important? I think you're the one he spoke of. Who? There's a wise man nearby who told my family about someone who's destined to stop this madness and lead humankind back from the brink of extinction. His name is Alex, and he will come on his own time. I must be mistaken. It wasn't because he was a fob. He didn't bite you because he didn't want to catch crazy. I'm not crazy. The wise man said what he said. Then you said what you said. It all makes perfect sense. Only in a bad cartoon. Listen, Alex. I don't believe in coincidence. Why don't I take you to the wise man so you can talk to him yourself? Why not? I could use some more humor in my life. It's only been five years, and you people are already developing Hopi religions, complete with reclusive wise men living in the desert. You're kidding me, right? So, what the hell is a fob anyway? It's just something I started calling the newbies. You know, the ones whose flesh hasn't even started to rot yet. Does it stand for something? Fresh off the bite. So what now? Klaatu. Verada. Necto. Hey wait a second, freak. Fuck it. There he is, Alex. Matt. Alex, it's about time you found me, bro. You already know each other? Whoa. That looked game, didn't it? Very, but it's all good. So how long has it been anyway? Five years. Holy shit. I must have told every person, living, and, undead, within a hundred miles about Alex and his destiny. How did it take this long to get you here? What's with all this destiny crap? It came to me in my dreams. A year or two before the rapture zombie apocalypse of Armageddon 2012, I started having these vivid dreams about the end of the world as we knew it then. Those dreams all came true, afterwards. I continued having dreams about everything from who I would meet to when I take my next dump. They all keep coming through. I've also dreamt about you leading mankind into a better future with the help of Carry the Storm. But I haven't seen any of those guys since around the same time I last saw you. Let's go for a walk. Laura, can you wait here while I show Alex something? You can make yourself at home. What home? Sorry about my poor choice of words. Come on, Alex. So you're serious about these dreams, Matt? Did you ever think your dreams might mean something to... Doubt it. I've been dreaming about bricks every night for almost five years.
probably because I'm always sleeping on hard benches, rocks, and sidewalks. You never know, man, you just never know. Of course, you realize there are over 100 million empty homes in this country right now, you could find yourself a bed. Yep, but would Mad Max do that? Mad Matt would. You know, you could have found me yourself. Why are you hiding out here when I know you'd love to be out there slaughtering zombies? Yo, oh, I go out from time to time to get my fix, but I found this script has a different overall part for me to play in saving the world. And in the end, it all still leads to dead undead, which is awesome. You ready for the big surprise? As long as it doesn't involve bricks, greens point, or Facebook chat, I'm good. Welcome to my lab. I'm not even going to ask. Yeah, it's probably better if you don't. Kelly, he looks just like he did in my dream. Really? So maybe there is something to your dreams. Fucking bricks. Shit. Kelly was out there hunting beasties just like you're doing when he found me. He had been severely injured and required extended recovery time. Since we didn't know exactly when you were going to find your way here, I felt it best that he recover in suspended animation. Plus, it just looks cool. Why do you have Derek in suspended animation too? Because someone has to be there to capture this shit on video. Now let's do this thing. So what happened to your washburn? I needed to redesign the body to facilitate more brutal zombie hacking. Dits. Super dits. <laughs>